Welcome to Ballin' Burgers! Ah! Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today is Wednesday, November 11th. It is Veterans Day. Oh yes. Um, and I want to start off with thanking the troops so much for allowing us to be able to wake up every day and live our lives the way that we want to live and not be afraid of anybody else. This is America. I'm proud to be an American. And I just, my whole years growing up, I just love this country and the patriotism that I've seen and just the go get them attitude that America has. It's like, we're not gonna let anybody stick it to us except ourselves. Um, we are just, we're a great country. We really are. We are so powerful in the world. We have so many great ideas and we contribute so much to the world. And the world looks up to us as far as how much, like, just how happy we all are, I think. I mean, sure, there's a lot of stuff that's wrong with America. There's a lot of things that we need to fix. But welcome democracy that's what democracy is it's not the best government but it's the best government that we got that's winston churchill that's what democracy he says is uh this video i need to update our viewers i need to update you guys and we have created a twitch account so we will not be live streaming on youtube anymore we will be doing it on twitch um and Twitch is a website that you can stream straight, like it's it's a gaming streaming website. So you, it's strictly made for games, uh, which is awesome. It's great. Uh, they have a whole bunch of other channels on there that you can watch. Uh, so hopefully that'll be nice. Uh, so we'll keep our live streaming videos that we have on YouTube right now. We'll leave them on there um, just as like a little taste or whatever. Um, but we're going to be mainly doing it on Twitch now. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, next thing I want to talk about, Mikey said about number two. That's my number that I'm giving him. Number two, he told me to pick a random number, one through four. And I'm picking number two. Hopefully, it's a good one. I really can't wait to see what he has in store with this. Next thing that I want to talk about, something that has come up uh, recently is I picked something up that I haven't touched in a while uh, of my collection of random stuff. And that is this it is a form of a rubik's cube kind of so it has a normal rubik's cube on top but then when you look on the side of it it's got one two three four layers going down so it's a three by three by four so it's a little bit different to solve um it's got a little bit different move sets and i have had this for a while now um, I got it, my mother gave it to me as a gift. I don't remember what, if it was for Christmas or for uh, my birthday or something like that. I can't recall. Um, but anyway, uh, I picked it up. I, I learned how to do it when I first got it. I was able to do it really well. And then I put it down for a while. And then I kind of lost how to solve it. I tried to solve it and I couldn't solve it. And I found a YouTube video when I first learned it. I found a YouTube video that was really helpful and I could not find it again for the life of me like a year after I forgot how to solve it. I could not find the YouTube video. So I just kind of like put it to the side and then left it, didn't play with it or whatever. And then I picked it up recently like past couple of weeks or something like that. Or the last couple of days ago actually, the beginning of this week or this weekend, I picked it up and then I said, oh, okay. So then I was searching again on YouTube like trying to remember how to solve this. And I found the original video that I used to solve this. And I'm so glad that I found that video. It's really helpful. I really like that video. Um, and But otherwise, this Rubik's Cube is actually really easy to solve. In my opinion, it's really simple, really quick. Um, just for the pure simple fact that like this, this top layer right here can never be on the side. So it's on this top, it's either going to be a yellow square or a white square. It's never There's never going to be a red on top of here. So that's why it's kind of easy. Two of these are two of the, the the top and bottom phases are pretty much locked. So and see like if I turn it like this, I can't turn it this way. It won't turn. So I can only do it like 180 degrees. 
that's it 180 degrees I can't you know so I think it's really simple so this week I've been playing Call of Duty uh, or uh, yeah this week today it's been a week since Black Ops 3 has been out and I have already prestiged and I just I I don't know if I'm ashamed of myself or proud of myself I, I mean I kind of feel a little bit of both because it takes time like it takes a little bit of skill in order to prestige and get all the points in order to get to that level but at the same time it's like dude do you have a life and I mean have you seen from some of my live streams uh, I play often <laughs> quite often and when one of my streams I actually had the question brought up by Mikey he asked me if I want to get Fallout 4 and I really am on the fence about Fallout 4 I really don't know because with me I need a lot of structure for a game I need to be told this is what you need to do like you need to go this way you need to do this you need to collect this uh, if you follow this path you'll get armor to upgrade all right versus sky or uh, fallout is more kind of like Skyrim it's the same makers and fallout 4 is you have sure there's a main mission that you can follow but there's tons and tons and tons of side quests that you can follow too and you can get sidetracked and do those instead and you know forget about forget about the main quest for like a long time and then oh yeah I forgot that that's the main thing that I'm supposed to be doing there's so many side things to do and then for upgrading you actually have to like collect things and then make stuff and like that's just in my in my mind it's too much for me to be able to figure out and handle it's like too much at my fingertips I'm crippled by the amount of stuff that you can do like the, the amount of options I'm kind of like I'm kind of one of those people that need a specific directive if I am given too many options I just lose my mind and I can't decide so that's kind of where my fault is with Fallout 4 it some gamers love it some people love that it's so open world and you have so many options but don't get me wrong all right more power to you that's just not the game for me I just I get overwhelmed by that kind of stuff so you can take it you can hate me you can love me you can say that I'm dumb whatever I don't care it's just something that I'm not gonna be into um, you have your games that you're into and I have my games that I'm into enough said with everything that I have just said today I'm thinking about bringing this video to a close and my question for Jake and Mikey if you answer you again you don't have to is have you ever done that with like do you have like a Rubik's Cube kind of thing that you know you put down for a while and forget about it and then you come back to it and like remember oh my god I remember this and you play with it or whatever it is uh, for instance you're writing Mikey you probably you said you haven't done it but when you pick it up when you pick it back up will you have that moment of like oh my god I haven't done this in forever and then get right back into it and be like yeah I love this you know it, Jake do you have that do you have something that you know from your childhood or something like that or an example of putting something down for a while and then picking it up like maybe a couple of years later and like yeah I remember this and then pick right up pick up right where you left off just an idea so with that I'm signing off have a great one